Hi everybody! Okay, so I have a little haul to share with you guys and plus a little giveaway. So, um, I have, I guess, a collection of things to show you from different places. So, the first things I'm going to talk about are some boots I got from Just Fab. Um, I kind of went a little crazy and I have three new boots this month. Um, I don't know what happened, it's just the weather change in Colorado and and I just really wanted to get some new boots. Um, all of my boots are pretty much brown, so I needed, a, I needed, I needed some black ones apparently. And I got another pair of brown ones because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> but I saw these and I really loved them. I needed them. These are called the Patagonia um, boots, and they just have a little heel and a little buckle and it has this just really cool kind of I want to say like a southwest inspired um, design they're really nice and soft and I think they'll keep me nice and warm you know granted probably not the best for like snowy weather but you know until it's like super snowy these will be really good and there's not too big of a hill and it's chunky so I should be able to walk just fine in these but I love them aren't they cute I mean seriously they are adorable. They also have like a grayish kind of taupe one, but I just love the colors of these and I thought they would go so good. Great like fall like boots with the um, cognac brown and the fun kind of orangey and dark brown southwest design. I thought they were so cute. Okay, and then I got a pair of like combat boots, I guess. Um, these ones are called the Mica. I believe. Um, they just look like this and that's what the size look like so it has triple buckles. I just thought these were a little bit more casual. I have my Steve Madden um, spiked combat boots but you know like they're pretty intense so something a little understated I thought I could use in my collection so I really like these. have worn them. They're comfortable. These, oh I wish, I can't remember the name of the, oh the name are on them. And then I got a pair of black riding boots because all mine are brown, as I was saying before, <laughs> to justify my purchase. Um, this is called the Bryce Boot. It looks like this, just a nice kind of faux suede, slightly worn out leather looking material. Looks like this and it has um, a single buckle on the bottom and it goes all the way around. And something different about this is it zips in the back. Most of them zip on the sides, so I thought this was a fun feature. It also has a little clasp on the outside here at the top, and it has just kind of a slight bit of blue um, detail along the zipper. So I thought these were cute, and so far they all seem true to size, good quality, and I, I really enjoy Just Fab stuff. Everything I've gotten from them I've really enjoyed and I get lots of compliments on. I don't buy like every month because it's one of those monthly subscriptions so I normally just skip months until I see something I really like. And those boots got me this time and I had to have them. Alright, just one makeup thing really, um, and you guys probably already know I have this because I featured it already a long time ago on a Friday favorite. So this video is long overdue. Um, this is the Anastasia Catwalk palette. This is what the colors look like in case if you are unaware. But I just really love this and I just really wanted it. It was only $29 at Ulta, so I thought it was a great deal. I had to have it and I don't regret it. Uh, the only thing that annoys me about this palette is they don't have the names on it. And I don't know if it comes with a plastic cover, but mine didn't have one. So it may have came with like a cover that said the names, but I have no idea because mine was missing it. Um, so what I did... So it came with like a little box on insert. So on the box I just cut out the backs and just taped on the colors so I knew what the color names were when I was using this because I find that rather annoying that it doesn't have the names on it. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, then I also got some things from Andalou Naturals. They were kind enough to send this to me and kind enough to give you guys one as well. So this is the giveaway in the video. Um, October is non-GMO awareness month. I have their, this here, which I love. I've talked about this before, the Kakua Cocoa Body Butter. Amazing stuff. And that's how Andalou found me, is through the video I talked about that body butter. So they asked me if I was wanting to try some of their products, and I said totally because I love that body butter. Um, so they gave me 
this age defying get started kit comes with five skincare essentials for dry to sensitive skin and also a fruit stem cell revitalized serum GMOs stand for genetically modified organisms so any kind of science gene splitting um, so it's like plants or animals created through gene splicing techniques or biotechnology um, so just not things that occur naturally in nature um, so using something on your skin that has GMOs could possibly absorb, be absorbed by your body. So it's a good thing just maybe to stick with the more natural route. Um, so I'm really excited to try these. I, like I said, I have tried the serum and I love it. Can't wait to try the other things. So if you guys are interested in winning this, just leave a comment down below saying that you want to try the Andalou skincare regimen. Um, so it's a really nice little kit to help get you started to see if you like the products. And it says um, clinical proven results in six weeks. Um, so this kit um, has the cleanser, which is the apricot probiotic cleansing milk. Um, an exfoliator, which is the bioactive berry fruit enzyme mask. Um, a toner, the blossom and leaf toning refresher. A hydrator for daytime, the Super Goji peptide perfecting cream. And then a nourishing night cream, which is the Reservidol Q10 repair night cream. So it's just a really nice um, trial size kit to try out to see if you like Andalus and get a, full, get a full size of the fruit stem cell revitalized serum which I totally love. It's going to be featured soon in a Friday favorites. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, but so far so good. I'm just really excited. So thank you so much Andalou um, for letting me try those out and also giving me the chance to give you guys one as well. That's really awesome. And then I ordered from Bobble Bar. Bobble Bar is like an online jewelry store. Um, this is my first time ordering from them. I've seen it probably like the past year all over YouTube, so I just wanted to see for myself. It came packaged really nice, really nice packaging. And when I purchased, there's a deal going on. If you spent like $50 or something like that, you get a free Too Faced La Creme lipstick. So I was like, I'm um, totally doing that because I love lipsticks. So the color I picked out is called Juicy Melons. <laughs> Dropping it. Juicy Melons. Um, and it's just a kind of subdued pinky coral. I haven't even swatched this yet, so that's pretty. That's what that looks like. So the free purchase drew me into purchase from Bobble Bar. I ordered a bubble necklace, and on the site, this looked like a royal blue, like more of a cobalt. It's kind of like a really bright um, sky blue, which is okay, but I was hoping for a darker color, but I'm still going to use this and rock this because I think it'd be great um, as a transition piece and even for the spring. So it's just a really nice pop of blue. Like I said, though, the color was deceiving on the website, but I'm still... I'm still, I still really like it. It seems like pretty decent quality. And I think this was like $16, so it was a pretty good deal. And then the other necklace I ordered was a little bit more pricey. Uh, I think it was like $30, $30 something dollars, maybe like $32. Um, and it actually came in like this little nice velvet pouch like this. And you just unsnap it. That's pretty snazzy. And out comes the necklace. So this is a pretty tortoise and kind of black stone, yeah. Um, drop bib necklace and I just thought it was so pretty um, perfect for like what I wear I might throw this on next um, I just I wear a lot of blacks and neutrals and I thought this would complete my collection I just really like the way it look um, so yeah I'm really excited with that and um, from the website choice I want to say choices yeah I'm going to just show you it because <laughs> I might butcher it there's no C in it but I want to say it's like choices or something like that um, I got two things. I got a pair of leggings. Um, these are just like typical black leggings, but they have like fake um, leather <laughs> shiny material on the knees and just kind of goes down the side. So I just thought that'd be a fun touch for the fall. And who doesn't like to wear some leggings during the fall, right? It's like wearing yoga pants. Best thing ever. Um, so I think these are called like the black contrast leggings. So I love those. And then I got a big chunky um, knit cardigan. It's kind of like an ivory color. Looks like this. It's just kind of thick but still see-through. It's just a nice open knit 
um, material and it's really soft and I just thought that would be great to complete some fall looks. Look nice with my new boots. Yeah, I'm like seeing it, seeing it. So those are the two things I got from Choices. Um, I'll leave a link down below. Thing. Um, is from Envy Makeup. Envy Makeup is an Australian makeup brand, but now it's available here in the U.S. through Ulta. So I just got the cream foundation to give a try. This is the Cream Deluxe Flawless Foundation in the color Nude. It comes in a compact like this, and the color looks like it'll be a really good match for me. So I'll let you guys know about this. I'm going to start trying it out and see how I like it. Alright, so I think that's all for this haul. I just got some new boots, some new skincare from Andalou. Thank you so much. Um, pretty new jewelry, catwalk palette. Why did I have to recap it all? I don't know. I just felt like I needed to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I heard you guys all. Bye, everybody.